And the Oscar for Best Actor goes to... Daniel Day-Lewis! <laughs> and no one was surprised that day. That's basically all you need to know going into Lincoln. So Lincoln is basically about um, Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president of the United States, trying to pass the 13th Amendment, which would not only abolish slavery in the South, but also end the Civil War going on at the time. Now, I should probably mention that last year, Steven Spielberg made War Horse, which I didn't like. I thought it was just too schlocky, too overdramatic, really couldn't, really didn't care for anything. So, I I mean, I didn't give up on Spielberg yet. I mean, with a career like Jaws, Raiders of the Lost Ark, E.T., how can you give up on this guy? But whatever the case, I was a little hesitant about Lincoln. And sure enough, it was really, really good. This movie was, I mean, the big highlight is Daniel Day-Lewis as... Abraham Lincoln. I mean, as I mentioned in the intro, he's got the Oscar already. I mean, it's like, it's the equivalent of Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. When you see The Dark Knight, you don't see Heath Ledger acting. You see the Joker. In this movie, you don't see Daniel Day-Lewis acting. You see our 16th president of the United States right in front of us as if they dug him up from the grave and p pulled a Frankenstein and brought him back to life with electricity. Every other actor in the movie is good also. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who apparently has to be in everything this year, is really good as Robert Lincoln, Abe Lincoln's son. Sally Field is good as the Mrs. And even though I see Tommy Lee Jones playing Tommy Lee Jones in every movie Tommy Lee Jones is in, why try saying that three times fast, he's really good as the Republican leader, Thaddeus Stevens. Pretty sure I didn't pronounce that right, but moving on. Music is really good. Not one of John Williams' best scores, obviously, but still pretty good and probably gonna get him an Oscar nomination. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that Lincoln gets assassinated, but it's, we'll say the way that Spielberg decided to show the assassination was pretty unique. I didn't, I actually didn't see it coming. And if you, any of you try to comment saying, you spoiled it, you either are an internet troll or you need to go back to school. So don't bother commenting saying, you spoiled it, because that is barely a spoiler. The only bad thing I can really say about the movie is that, and it's more of a nitpick than anything, um, it's that the opening scene is a war scene where Union and Confederate soldiers are fighting each other, and it just looks so poorly choreographed. Like, there's some guys dying like, Ugh, uh, uh. I mean, it's just like, wow. Spielberg, what... You shot a good opening war scene in Saving Private Ryan. Why couldn't you have done that here? But I'm going to give Spielberg a pass because once Daniel day Luce comes on the screen and as the movie continues to go along, you forget that that scene even exists. So that's about it. Other than that, it's this year's definitive Oscar movie. It Daniel Day-Lewis uh, has already gotten the Oscar. The Academy just might as well mail it to his house. And it might win Best Picture. I know the movie came out a few months ago, but I think it's still playing in theaters because it is award season. So if you can, I suggest you get off your ass and go see it right now. And if not, you could wait around till it comes on Blu-ray. But this is one of the big Oscar movies of 2012, so you might as well see it as soon as you can. And with that said, that is my review of Lincoln. I will see you guys later. Bye.